Hi guys, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we're going to be working in GIMP and we're going to be creating an infinite series effect, otherwise known as the Droster effect. Now, I'm working inside of GIMP 2.10.2 and this version of GIMP has a new tool inside it which can produce some really neat effects. We're going to be creating the infinite series in this video. So I've got an image which is perfect for this. You need an image which has some kind of frame in it that you can put a copy of the image inside. We're going to be using the rectangle select tool to start off with. So go to tool selection rectangle select tool and I'm just going to make a selection inside this frame of the mobile phone. Once we've got our frame selected, I'm just going to zoom out. I'm going to hold down control and use my mouse wheel to zoom out. I'm going to click inside the selection, hold down shift and control, and I'm just going to increase the size of the selection. You don't want to make it too big, otherwise your recursion is not going to really look impressive. Once we've got the selection we want, I'm going to choose image, crop to selection, select none. And the reason for doing this is that I wanted the image itself to have the same aspect ratio as the frame that we're using. What we'll do next is bring up the recursive uh, transform tool. We'll find that actually under filters, map, recursive transform. Once you've opened it up, you'll find it's, it's very similar to the unified transform tool. And if you've used that before, you'll be a little bit familiar with this one. It has exactly the same strengths and weaknesses. With this tool, as you move the transformation around, it repeats the transformation that you've just made. So if I move it down here, we get the same transformation. And it's repeated three times because it's got three in the iterations. We can change that and we are going to change that maybe a bit later. What I'm going to do is just to reset everything and then click once inside and then use the handles at the side to reduce the transform to the size of the frame. So you can see we've got the iterations happening there. I'm going to click on paste below so that we can get a cleaner workspace. I'm just going to increase, I'm just going to reduce the size of this until it fits inside the frame. And that looks decent enough. There's a part where his hand is going to get cut off a little bit, but that doesn't matter too much because you wouldn't have noticed that until I told you. So we're going to now hit OK, but nothing's happening. So let's untick paste below and we can see the recursion there. Now the recursion will occur the number of times you've got in the iterations. So I'm going to try to see if we can get another recursion, maybe another one. There comes a point where you can't really see what's happening. So I think we've reached the limit on this one. So that's going to be it. We've got our infinite series now. It's a fun little effect and you can use it with pretty much any image that has a regular polygon inside it, a square, rectangles, even maybe even a circle, uh, octagon. So pretty easy to use, lots of fun. Try it out and see what you can make. That's it for this video. I hope you like it. If you did, hit the like button and I'll have a couple more videos maybe on this particular tool and how else you can use it. That's it for now. Till next time. Bye.